Hello. I am uh, looking for Dr. Montgomery Montgomery. I am uh, Stefano. I am an Italian man, and uh, I am here to assist him in his uh, research uh, as best I can, as well as to uh, facilitate and uh, remain observatory. Count all else. Oh, um, and now why would, uh, why would you say something like that? I, uh, I have never uh, met uh, such a person as a Count Olaf, but uh, if I had, I'm sure he would look and sound completely different. You're Olaf, and we're not letting you in. Well, perhaps you should reevaluate your hypothesis. Anyway, that's why you should never run with one of these kids. Words of wisdom indeed, Mr. Stefano. Oops, you caught me being a mentor. <laughs> and bless you for coming at such short notice. Not at all, not at all. My chief assistant, Gustav, took sick and phoned not one hour ago. He'd give anything to be here right now. Thank goodness you were available. Well, I am, uh... I am a fan, if I may gush. Uh, your work has profoundly influenced uh, my research up at the uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium uh, on the sea snake. That's a very volatile animal. Uh, that, uh, I've been bitten 4,300 times, mostly on the face. A lot of this has been reconstructed. Uh, but I think they did one heck of a job, even though my mustache is a tad askew. Uh, but I wonder if I could get the kids to help me in with my bags. My left side is somewhat neurologically challenged. But of course, children, Uncle Monty. Please, let us not be rude to a guest. Now go on. What's he up to? I don't know. There is no good moment, of course, for a notorious villain to arrive. But the timing of Olaf's reappearance, just when Dr. Montgomery's secret could be revealed to the children, was almost more than Klaus could bear. Violet, listen to me. Auntie Spyglass, I saw the exact same one in Dad's desk. Klaus, it's just a coincidence. Violet, no, everything happens for a reason. Now, the children will be helping us extensively with the research in Peru. Do, do you have any experience with children? Uh, children are strange and foreign to me. Uh, I never really was one. I know that they are an important part of the uh, ecosystem. He's never going to let us alone with Monty. We've got to get a message to him. Leave that to me. I was feeding the Mori, and uh, of course, I got cocky. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes is one time. <laughs> Just once. I had the kipper in my mouth and I offered it. And uh, there was a team from National Geographic that were there. They were filming the whole thing. And, uh, well, a lot of people don't know this about the Mori, but uh, you think, you know, this can't be a tremendously strong animal. I mean, uh, sure, it has a certain amount of strength, but uh, how does it pull a man's face into a cave? Anyway, long story short, the bends, the reconstructive surgery, but uh, yes, from my understanding, Peru is a wonderful place. The beaches, the people, the relaxed guardianship laws. Relaxed guardianship laws? Did I say that? Darn neurotoxins. Oh, Stefano, you have a wonderful gift for storytelling. Uh, Doesn't he, children? Oh. Yeah. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind milking Petunia for me. Petunia? Uh, well, the milking, uh, now see, uh, what I was, could I just, uh, yeah, sure, I'll, uh, I'll take a shot at that. Uh, now, uh, they used to call me, uh, Old McDonald up at the milking lab there because I'd milk these things all day long. <laughs> but the little udders are hard to locate. Uh, well, anyway, why don't you, uh, take that and, uh, uh, go ahead and start the party without me, and I'm, um, uh, I'm not sure I brought my milking gear. I'll, uh, take a gander. Hmm. 
Is he still watching? Yes. Don't look at me. Pretend you're talking to Klaus. Okay. I got your message. Don't worry. I know. You do? Yes. A more eel would never eat kippers. Far too salty. And did you see the way he kept glancing into my satchel where I keep the exotic snake films? Your children were right. Stefano is an imposter. Yes. He's a spy from the Herpetological Society. He's here to steal the incredibly deadly fiber. No. No, Uncle Monty. Oh! Darn! All finished. I was so looking forward to the milking. Isn't it about time you kids went to bed? Absolutely. Early start tomorrow, children. Off you go. Good night. Oh, and uh, if you kids should get restless during the night, I'm right down the hall, and I'm a very light sleeper. In fact, I hardly sleep at all. Do you have a hall pass? I didn't think so.